All right, Shalom. Shalom. First off, I want to start off by saying all praises, honor, and glory is doing to Yahweh by Shemel Shai. Bless you. God, that's also want to say the honors. That's uh, all praises to the world cause God who's true name the Hebrews Yahweh. By Shemin in the name of Yahweh Shai, in the name of the only begotten Son. Also want to say double honors to the elders and apostles of Great Millstone, in peace and mercy to the hopeful like preaching, word and truth and sincerity. On the brother talks about in the Great Millstone, Great Millstone, Arizona camp. Lord will with another video edify. I can't get too loud, you know. My uh, it's kind of laid out here. My woman going to sleep to get ready for work, so forgive me if the volume is low. But uh, we're in a time now where prophecies are popping off. Prophecies are popping off, and you got to keep an eye on these things. The Lord said there was going to be a spirit on, on men, certain men in these last days that always had their eyes open to these things. And that's the time where we're in. All right, so this is, um, let's get some precepts. Sirach 39. Start there, man. Sirach 39 and 1, it says... But he that giveth his mind to the law of the Most High, and is occupied in the meditation thereof, will, will seek out all the wisdom of the ancient, and be occupied in prophecies. You see? That's who's going to be <laughs> equitable for this work. The ones that have uh, always occupied in the meditation of the, word, the Lord's Word. Why? Because when you go all throughout the Lord's Word, it's all full of prophecies. All full of prophecies, and that's the major thing. Paul said it himself. He said, though I have, he said, he said, but rather that you prophesy, right? That you have all spiritual gifts, but rather that you prophesy. He said, this uh, uh, desire prophesying, right? That's something you're supposed to have a desire to do to speak on the things to come, because you being able to speak on those things puts people in the right mind, prepares the the, the men that are worthy and and and, and elected. Right, because not everybody's gonna take take note of the word. Right, it's only for the elected souls that would take note of the word to get ready for the battle. It says he will keep the sayings of the renowned men, and where subtle parables are, he will be there also. And no subtle parables are the breakdown of the scriptures. Right, this is the this is the duty of the, of the prophets, man. You go to Revelation nineteen. Revelation 19 and 10, it says, And I fell at his feet to worship him, and he said unto me, See thou do it not, I am thy fellow servant, and of thy brethren that had the testimony of Yahweh Shai. Worship the Most High, for the testimony of Yahweh Shai is the spirit of prophecy. So that's the chief thing to talk about. That's the chief thing to talk about, especially in these end days, man. We're at the end of the end of days. Right? When Yahweh Shai came, that was the beginning of the end, right? Yeah, I'm sure it's been gone for quite some time, right? And things have gotten progressively worse. You you have it to where now you got little niggas, and it's a it's a huge pandemic of of a bunch of these little ass monsters that are just beating the shit out of their own parents. What well, the scriptures talk about about the family structure being uh, gutted out, right? Let's, let's get that man. Let me get it, man. This is uh is it the Peter one? No, I think it's this one. Uh second Timothy three and one it says, Know this also that in the last days perilous times shall come, shall men for men shall be lovers of their own selves, covetous, boasters, proud, blasphemers. Disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy. We're obviously in the last time because people fit these things to the T. Disobedient to parents, unthankful, unholy, right? It's a it's a bunch of uh, Lamonts out there. You remember an episode on uh, uh, the Boondocks? The little nigga child just sat there and said, uh, 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 
I, I want to smoke wheel cigarettes with my friends and do hood rat things. Or well, there's a bunch of them niggas walking around. Right? And they no longer call it hood right things. They call it uh, dubious deeds. Right? They even have, they had whole TikTok things. Dubious deeds of people just walking randomly up to people and robbing them. Now niggas are walking around with a ski mask on and call it fucking cute shit like shysties. Fucking just hitting licks on everybody. It's a thing to catch people lacking now. It says, without natural affection, truth breakers, false accusers, incontinent, fierce, despisers of those that are good, de- uh, traitors, heady, high-minded, lovers of pleasures, more than lovers of the most high. These people are all about pleasures now. We're obviously in the last days. These are things to look out for. It says, having a, a form of godliness, but denying the power of their own, and such turn away. And these people really believe that they're on some type of level. They believe that what they're doing and how they're acting, they can be godlier than the ones that actually read out the scriptures and tell people they're going off. And they misconstrue the fact that brothers sit here and say, hey, you're going to get judged with evil. It was a righteous thing for a person to put out righteous judgment. We're not judging the corner of our feelings, but these people do. We are in the last days, right? I'll get this last one and we'll get some stuff real quick. I just wanted to show and showcase the state of which we are in, man. Which this world is in. And the fact that all these things are happening at once. We know that the Lord is about to do his thing. His work is strange work, as the scriptures say. This is Isaiah 62 and 6. I have set watchmen upon thy walls, O Jerusalem, which shall never hold their peace day nor night. Ye that make mention of Yahweh, keep not silence, and give him no rest till he establish, until he Make Jerusalem praise in the earth. So we're not in the time to keep our, our mouth shut, right? A time's going to come where the Lord's going to shut our mouth. And that's the time of what? The famine of the word, which that's prophecy as well. We're coming up to that. They're sitting there trying to put out mass orders on all these platforms. They recently just had the first official TikTok ban, and a lot of truth was going out on TikTok. A lot of truth. A lot of a lot of people were posting things about the Israelites, about Esau and what they're doing. A lot of a lot of uh, alternative news was coming out on on TikTok. A lot of exposure of Esau and his and 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 the effects of his uh of the jump of of the jumper right that he was giving everybody when they got the uh, the Kobe nineteen right. You got to come out with all type of code names for this shit. Hey, they were pulling out a lot of that on TikTok. Right? So now they're getting ready to shut that shit down because what? Esau is getting revealed. And that's prophecy, man. So let me go through some of this stuff. Well, well, needs to be edifying. The first one I want to go into is a video I saw from the elder Amoran Gabar in the New York camp. He put this up, man. I saw it. I said, man, I want that video. And uh, the water y'all watching my shot for let me find this, man. So peep this. It says, Chicago woman cries while documenting the worst looted Walmart you've ever seen. Everything it is either on the floor. Look at this. Can't even get no fucking food for my kids, G. Look at this. Came in the store to try to buy something because I'm not, I'm not, I'm not a thief. Look at this. In my hood, can't even get no food for my kids. Babies need milk. Can't even get nothing for my kids, bro. I feel like an animal, and black people made me feel like an animal. Y'all did this to us. Look at this. Look at this. Look at the store. Look at this. But we, we, we this, this, this is what we're fighting for. This is honoring George Floyd. People who already couldn't feed their kids, now they really can't feed their kids. Look at this. I am so devastated right now. I am so devastated right now, G. This is not okay. 
For us to have to live like this, we do stupid shit like this all the time, and we so black proud. We so black and proud that we ain't gonna never be honest and be real about what's really going on. Y'all are so wrong for this. You came in your neighborhood and fucked up your shit. I'm not a thief. I'm not coming in this store and stealing nothing. See? And you crying now, man. You walk by a bunch of fruits and vegetables, right? I saw a bunch of water on the shelf. Learn to fucking cook, right? But but ultimately, this is prophecy as well, because the scripture tell tell you, all right? Let's get let's get this Revelation, not Revelation, but a uh, Second Ezra. I think it's the fifteenth chapter. Um, this is second Ezra, second Ezra is 15, second Ezra is 15 and, and, and 15, it says, well, for, uh, for the sword and the destruction draw nigh, and one people shall stand up to fight against another, and swords in their hands. For the, there should be sedition among men and invading one another. They shall not regard the kings nor persons, and the course of their actions shall stand in their power. And what do you think the course of this action is? The fact that these niggas really rooted the store, looted the store of all the damn food, all the meat. Well, that's sedition among men. That's prophecy. These are things you're supposed to look out for. This is this is what you're supposed to be occupied in. Constantly have your mindset in your ear. Constantly having a meditation of what what's the next lesson going to be on. Like this is what the Lord commanded us to be into. This is what the Lord commanded us to be into, right? Now, I got some articles over here. Right? I did a lesson on this. This is uh, What the Devil, a uh, new Disney show focuses on teen girl. Uh, sex with Satan. It, it, hey, this, 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 this is uh, this is the coming time we're in. It. We're in that time. We're in that time of that wicked generation. That whole wicked generation is back. And the fact that these people sat there and saw this show and said, "Yeah, I want that role." You know, people in the old people would have never used to take shit like this when I was a child. Man, they would have fucking no. Nah, I can't do that. That's gonna. They would have some type of integrity. They would their their faith would take over. But this is that faithless generation, man. That faithless generation. This is where we're at. This is where we're at. This is where we're at in, in, in times of prophecy and the time that we're in. These are things to keep an eye on. Right? Now, let's go over here. Let's get another one. It says, IMF unveils new global currency known as Universal Monetary Unit to transform world economy. Well, look at that. What do you think that IMF, the International Monetary Fund, goes back to? It's, just, it's, it's, it's basically a central bank. Right now, you have the International Bank of Settlement, which which is the bank of all banks. Now, who do you think is issuing for the rules and regulation for this? The International Bank of Settlements, and now they're coming up with a global currency, which all ties into what Revelation thirteen. Let's get that man, because there has to be a system to support to support what's going on. It's Revelation thirteen and fifteen, and they have power to give life unto the image of the beast. Right? The image of the beast is talk is talking about that system, the system that the beast is going to bring, that the image, that the system of the beast, let's, let's replace it, that the system of the beast should both speak and cause all that, can speak and cause that as many as would not worship the image of the beast, right, bowing down to that system, bowing down to their plans. Because they're going to set up a thing to where you're not going to maybe buy or sell, do anything unless you're unless you give allegiance and enter into that B system, right? Agreeing to be 100% monitored and tracked. Agreeing to take the chip into you. That's part of it, right? Bound down, taking a, a hold of all those new laws and governances, right? It says, and cause it as many as would not worship the image of the beast should be killed. Right? And it's going to be under penalty of death. Well, you got to get down with us or we got to put you out because your life is... It's too dangerous for us. That's what they're doing with the livestock. It's going to come a time that we're going to, going to start doing it with the people. They sat there and said greenhouse gases, this and that, to the point where now they're sitting there saying, oh, yeah, we got to call off a bunch of cows because they're too lethal for the environment. How is something that the Lord created to move in this earth too lethal for the environment? 
The only thing that the Lord created that is too lethal for the environment is the fucking Edomite, the so-called white man. All right, but they've set it up to make it make it seem like all the animals that people normally eat are too lethal. So they want to call off a bunch of them. Right? So there's going to be a time where they're going to do the same thing to the people. So they're going to look at you and say, hey, anybody who doesn't get down with this system, it's because you want to drain the system even further. And you're making it, you're too dangerous to be around. That's what they're going to do. That's what they have been doing. Right? And he calls it the hope of small and great, rich and poor, free and bond to receive a mark in their right hands in the right hand or in their foreheads, and no man might buy or sell save he that had the mark on the name of the beast or the number of the name. And that's that whole mark is going to tie in to this digital currency, which they're going to put right onto your chip that they're going to put in people's hands and their foreheads, whatever technology and wherever you get it. It don't matter where you get it. If you get it, you're fucked. This is prophecy. This is what you're supposed to look at, man. This is what you're supposed to have your mind on. All right? All right? Here, here's another one. All right? This is this is prophecy. It's a little old, but this is this is irrelevant. Because now you have more and more tensions between the U.S. allies. And that's the beast hate and the horror, right? It says EU chief hits back at Trump. I appreciate your allies. You don't have any. Why do you think they say this? Because what? They were sitting there shanking everybody. They were, they were putting everybody in scrutiny. They were proud and lifted up against their, their fellows, right? And to the point where now you have Macron, and I've done lessons on it. Macron sitting there saying that uh, the French the French president sitting there saying uh, they need eminent they need autonomy from the U.S. Well, that's them breaking away. That's prophecy. That's 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 in uh, Daniel's the second chapter. This is all prophecy going on in the world. And this is what you have to have your mind on. The time is short. These things are almost ended. This shit is almost up. Shalom.